This watch costs about $300 and the price to pleasure ratio is off the charts. It's got me thinking that maybe I never need to spend more than this on a watch again. Yeah, I don't believe me either. This is the Marathon Navigator. There are many configurations of the Navigator. There are three distinct case colors, black, sage green, and desert tan. You can get it with or without dial text, which reads Marathon US Government, and with or without a date complication at 4.30. This is the simplest version. No date, black case, and no additional text, otherwise known as a sterile dial. But honestly, all the configurations look pretty great to me. The Marathon name is known to some watch weirdos, but I think there are still too many collectors who have never heard of this brand. And that's despite the fact that Marathon has been making watches for more than 80 years. The reason you might not have heard of Marathon is that the vast majority of the watches it makes are produced for governments and their service people and not for average consumers. This business model started for Marathon in 1941 when it began making watches for the Allied forces in World War II. Today, Marathon is headquartered in Canada with all its watches being made in Switzerland. The Navigator has been on my radar for a few years, and that radar pun is absolutely intended because this watch was first developed for the United States Air Force in 1986. Pilots and crew needed a legible, reliable, rugged, and yeah, affordable watch, and they still do. The Navigator is built to everyone's favorite military specification, the MIL PRF 46374G. The spec defines required fonts, the movement type, the water resistance, pressure resistance, anti-magnetism, and a whole lot more. And so what you're looking at is not the end result of an artist's rendering or executives guessing what will exhibit well at a watch fair. This is a watch built to a specific practical requirement, which is kind of refreshing. You're seeing the navigator on my seven inch wrist, which is definitely not built to a military spec. The case of the navigator is 41 millimeters across, 13 millimeters thick, and 48 millimeters long. It has what seems to be 19.5 millimeter lug spacings. It's definitely narrower than 20 millimeters and wider than 19, and yet it comes with a 20 millimeter strap. Maybe it's more secure this way somehow, I don't know. The watch has a sapphire crystal and is water resistant to 60 meters. It has a bi-directional 12-hour bezel, which allows for tracking a second time zone. For me, this is even easier to read than a GMT watch, but it doesn't tell you if the second time zone is in AM or PM. Low light visibility of the Navigator is accomplished not by luminescent paint like with most watches. Instead, it uses tritium tubes that glow low and constantly as the radioactive isotope of hydrogen slowly decays. This is what the H3 on the dial stands for. Tritium. And this is why the dial has a radiation symbol. It indicates that the watch is in line with the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission. You've probably noticed a couple strange things about this case. First, it's asymmetrical. The case protrudes on the right side. Instead of having crown guards jutting out near the crown, the entire case sweeps out on one side. It's unintentionally funky, and I'm into it. The second thing about this case is its material. This case is made of lightweight fiber shell. I'm not entirely sure what fiber shell is, but it feels like a hard plastic to me. It seems fairly scratch resistant, and I'm curious to see what happens after a few years of use. But it's important to know that this watch is not made to last decades. It's actually made to be worn and then disposed of after several years of hard use. The fiber shell case means the Navigator is very light, just 40 grams. It also means that the watch is very inexpensive. Light and cheap. Two things militaries love, and so do I. The US Air Force and I have very little in common. But we both believe in UFOs, and we both know a good watch when we see one. All the Navigators come on pass-through nylon straps, and that's because all Navigators have fixed strap bars. I'm careful not to call them spring bars because as far as I can tell there are no springs here. Fixed bars are more reliable than removable bars. And that kind of reliability can mean the difference between a successful mission and a disaster. But for watch collectors, it's important to note that you will be limited by the types of straps you can use here. 
It also means that the 13mm thickness of the navigator is always going to be and thickened by whatever strap you're using. The provided strap is okay, I think it needs to be broken in a bit, but I've got enough other straps on hand that I'll likely not use the Marathon nylon. And one reason I went with the black case color is because I think it'll match the most straps. Inside the watch is the ETA F06 quartz movement. Yes, quartz. Why? Because it's reliable, it's cheap, it's damn accurate. Less than half a second variation per day. This watch is all about practicality, not about the art of watchmaking, which is in its own way, I don't know, maybe practicality is an art too. The F06 movement is shock resistant and has a low power indicator. When the battery needs replacement, the second hand will jump 4 seconds every 4 seconds. This version of the navigator does not have a date complication, but the movement still does have that setting. I can pull the crown out and adjust the missing date wheel even though it's not visible. Between the reliability of the quartz movement, the 12 hour bezel, and the navigator's price tag, I think this might become my primary travel watch. Especially when I'm traveling to places where it's risky to wear a luxury watch, which is nearly everywhere these days, apparently. And even when I'm not traveling, I've been looking for a watch like this. I have my G-Shocks, which are also durable and plastic, but an analog display is much more satisfying to me. But is a plastic quartz watch worth $300? Even one with tritium tubes and a sapphire crystal? If you like it, it is. And that's a simple answer for any watch. There will always be cheaper watches. You can compare price to specs all day long, and when you're done, what you'll probably end up with is a list of affordable watches that aren't very interesting. To appreciate the Marathon Navigator, you have to appreciate the quiet history of the brand, and functionality, and ruggedness, and the fact that this is still a pretty rare timepiece even in the hallowed halls of self-taught watch savants. And I appreciate those things. And that's why this is now one of my favorite watches ever of this year, of this month, of right now. Which is to say, I like it.